Welcome back to Retro Renovations and today a new project. Now this belongs to a friend called Nick and he wants to kit it out, travel and uh, but first it needs a lot of metal. Let's show you. So we got a, a T4 X AA van and uh, it's pretty empty at the minute. You can see the yellow from the old AA van, some rascal stuff. And um, yeah, what do you reckon, Jack? What's the approval? Did you get approval? Right pole or left pole? Oh, okay. Right, so what we got to do on the passenger side? Oh yeah, that's a hole. Better sort that out. We got some nice new panels. Ah. Oh dear. That's not good. So, uh, yeah, let's get sorting. Whenever welding, first thing to do. Take the battery off. <coughs> so literally we've got the uh, inner sill so we've got to cut off most of the outer sills so we can measure up the inner sill so that's going to go inside which will give us you see down here it gives us this piece back so we've got to cut back and get that sorted then that will be get covered by the inner sill and then when both of those are in place we can tidy up that wheel arch and, uh, and join that up to the fresh metal so first job we got to do we've got to get cutting this crap off now this is a park side from Lidl uh, brand new just got it so this is going to be its maiden job let's see how it gets on just before just before i cut it away i just want to show you that obviously this is the seal yeah right. expanding foam so obviously they had a hole inside or i had a hole here and they literally just filled it with expanding foam and it over it so let's see how much of it's in there what do you reckon the whole length it's amazing how you see how other people have uh, done their vehicles i know people moan i get a few comments your welding shit fair enough my welding is what it is it's solid you know but for those who say my welding shit think about the people who's uh filling their vehicles with expanding foam So the answer to the electric one is no, use the parkside uh, mains. I've cut across there now, let's have a look. Well wow, that's a nice uh, nice big bit of filler, what do you reckon? It's really strong, really structural isn't it? You know, if you need to do some welding, why weld? Well, just shove some uh, some of that in here, shocking really. Well, let's get that cut off.
So roughly this is where the new plate's going to go but there's not enough metal behind there and this one previously the way they did it they just literally spot welded it along which I'm not too pleased with to be honest. So what I'll be doing is cleaning that up putting a fresh piece of steel along here and I've also hit this with a hammer and it's gone in that one place so I'm going to cut a square out there as with all these jobs you find extra bits so I'm going to cut that square out now and tidy that up cut some of this rot out and we're going to weld a new square in there and a new square in there and then we can line that up Always cut yourself a template so that's going to go there to give us that extra steel and that's going to go there. Well anyway, that's, that's done, now to get this one in. It's welded in place now. So, back plate, lower plate, outer seal. Now I've just got to put the wheel arch in, and then I've got this piece here that I haven't got a panel for. So I have to make something for that. Other than that, it's going quite well. I have marked out the wheel arch. I don't need to replace the whole wheel arch because most of the wheel arch is really solid. I know some people say replace all of it. it. Just really doesn't need it. The inner one is fine. It's only literally surface here. So I'm going to replace that bit as I come down here. Just here in a moment. Well, it's been a hard day's craft, but uh, I'm really chuffed with the outcome. Looks good. Could be painted now, whatever van, the van colour of the van gets resprayed, and uh, yeah, it's solid for a few more years.
I'm made. 